Welcome to the lesson that will introduce you to Sumo Paint. To open up Sumo Paint, go ahead and Google Sumo Paint. Choose the desktop version, so click that top option. And when this window loads, choose Get the App. You're going to choose Use for Free. If this doesn't load, you're going to want to try to use another browser. In my past experience, I have found that I've had troubles with Internet Explorer or if Flash isn't working for some reason, so you're going to want to try a different browser like Chrome or Firefox. So if you want to make something from scratch, you would choose New Blank Canvas. Otherwise, in this case, I'm going to choose Open File from Computer. I made a folder called Sumo Paint, and I put an image in that folder, so I'll go ahead and open that up. I'm going to just show something really quick on how you would save it if you're still going to continue editing the image. So I'll choose Filter, Distort, and then Kaleidoscope. And I'm going to come in and experiment a bit with this. And I might go ahead and scale it so it fits on the screen. Now if I choose OK at this point, I can choose the little Move tool to center it on that canvas. These are just some things you're going to want to come in and really experiment with Sumo Paint. I recommend looking at some YouTube videos so you can truly appreciate this fabulous program. Now let's say you want to continue editing this. You're going to go ahead and save it in a special way. You'll choose File, Save to My Computer. Make sure you choose Sumo so that you can continue editing. If it was done and you wanted to put it on a website or a document, you would probably save it as a JPEG. But I'm going to come back and continue editing because it's time to leave and I'm really not done with Sumo Paint at this time. So I'll choose Save. I'll go ahead and put it in that Sumo Paint folder that I created earlier. And I'll call it maybe Colorful Edit, which means I'm not done. And I'll click Save. So if I go ahead and close Sumo Paint, to open that Sumo Paint, I will return to Sumo Paint, use the free app, and from here, I will choose Open from the Computer, and I will open up that file. And it will load for me to continue editing. I could return to the filter, distort, kaleidoscope, and continue editing that. And just really playing around with it. I'll click OK. And again, you really want to just come in and play with this. There's a really fun one if you go to filters and you choose the 3D effect. There's a sphere designer and you can make balls and just experiment with these dimensions. Once you're done and you really like it, you would choose File, Save to My Computer, and save it as a JPEG. This concludes the session on working with Sumo Paint. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.